guess you know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about riding this off-road, man. Come on. Baby, I'm not running around looking for nobody else. I've got one thing on my mind. I so I'm gonna try that for a little bit in here while waiting for waiting Got to hold ya. Baby, I'm not running around looking for nobody else. I've got one thing on my mind. I already hear the bells. I'm a victim of love calling out to heaven above for ya. Electric skateboard or even regular skateboard, but this thing is different, so I'm not risking it. I will wear safety gear at all times. First, this race car. Yes, exactly. <laughs> From here, this is I think the easiest ride mode, which is Sequ Sequ Sequoia. It's Sequoia. This only limits your speed up to 12 miles an hour top. Let's give it a try. challenging compared to skateboard but I can manage it in a day or two so so far the only thing that really hard to master is the this mount I don't know I, I think I just prefer to just jump off the board with my boat paid. It was fun. Like I said, the hardest part to me, at least to me, is the dismount. See the line? Yes, this is where the sensors are. So you're supposed to put your foot flat on this part of the board if you want to mount it, you want to ride it. And when you stop, you're supposed to just kind of like lift one part of your foot and then the board would just gonna fall back and then you can just get off the board. But somehow, I don't know why that's the hardest thing for me to do. But so far, this board is so much fun. Look at this. Look at this. Can you guys see this? Wow. My roommate, Didi, is very allergic to this thing, you know, the power. I remember when his face got really swollen. This is like probably four or five years ago from this pollen because he's got some kind of uh, allergic reaction. All right, now I'm on break. Let's take this bad boy to the park. Oh my god. It is hard to ride on the grass like this. I guess I'm just gonna stick to the pavement for now. There you go. There you go. I got. I got this. I got this. I got this. Yes, I got this. Oh, much better. Wow. It's not even uh, funny how hard it is to control this thing on the grass. But as for now, I'm just gonna cruise in to get to feel how this board so feels. I'm still on the easiest mode, which is the learning mode, uh, Sequoia or something. Calling Made. 
FaceTiming him because he's pretty stoked about this board too. He's thinking about getting one, but he's not sure if it's worth the price. I told him it's, it is. Like 100% it is. So he's not answering. Come on, Maddie, what you do it, buddy? Must be taking a nap. Now, we're approaching, I'd say this is probably like 15 to 20 percent like climbing. This board is not recommended to do climb up past 15 percent, but I'm just gonna change the mode to give this board a little more torque because as for now it's still on the Sequoia. So I'm probably gonna change it to, I've switched it to cruise. Let's see how it performs. Go, let's do this. Let's do this. Don't care what you came from. Oh, this is this is sketchy, guys. That's Madi guys, say hi to Madi, the great master sushi chef. I'm going to Paul Timbers Mall to get me some coffee. Yeah, just ride this board four miles just to grab me some coffee. So you're gonna have to master that dismount technique. I do have Starbucks around here. So I'm just gonna go inside and get me some coffee. I didn't end up getting coffee. I don't know, I just don't feel like it. I'm already drinking water for now. Going back to Sidecut Park now. Oh boy! Oh, no fighting, guys! No fighting! Animal. You guys see how awkward that I dismount off that board. I don't know, I just can't do the one foot dismount as per now. So yeah, the conclusion between that animal and the electric skateboard, I picked that animals any days. It wasn't hard at all for me to, to ride it for the very first time, but it was just somehow like triggers my, I don't know, spider sense, if I may call it that way. Because I realized as soon as I ride that board, my mind is just like instantly this thing has like seriously more risk compared to the electric skateboard because of, I don't know, maybe because of the one wheel thing, you know, it, you're gonna have to pay attention to your road and how you ride it and the distance between, between the obstacles and you before you stop, you're gonna have to pre-plan your braking. So, yep. That thing requires more focus and woodwork. Once you master it, that thing seriously becomes the extension of your legs, of your feet, which is amazing, you know. It could take you travel like for miles and miles. I don't know. Talking about distance, let's check how many miles that we have traveled. Oh, that's awesome. I've traveled six miles total and there's still like 74% battery left. Look at this. Holy cow. She's gonna go have to go back to work already. Now I'm approaching downhill. This thing has the regenerative, regenerative, I can't even pronounce it. Regen brake for 
that all is now. So it's going to recharge your board back while you're going downhill using the braking system. When I reach downhill, I'm going to check the battery person. I guess but it requires more longer downhill to recharge the battery but it's still 74% that's how fast I'm cruising I tried to go I think over 20 miles an hour on my electric board on my lift dual motor board on my lift dual motor board back then but on this thing I don't know it might take me a month before I try to push this board to its limit see how fast it can go oh 14 miles an hour when I tried to push it over 14 miles an hour the board keep giving me pushback the pushback happens when the board tries to tell you to slow down you're you're going over what I, I'm giving you you know and the other thing that you should not do with this board while you're cruising like this is to lift up one part of your foot like front foot that part, that foot should stay there, flat. If you try to fix your stance or lift part of your foot up, it will disengage the motor, the board will stop because it will think that you want to stop or quit, you're done. You could just have this sudden stop while you're cruising like this. And so guess what? Yeah, that's a good result in a really bad accident. This is just so much more fun than my electric skateboard. Seriously. Just be responsible when you have something like this. Right? Yeah, I'm stuck here. It's still raining. Can't go back to work yet. I don't have any umbrella in my car. You know, it's sad. Man, it's just sad.